we're agnostic in terms of like what the specific criteria is. We're geographically agnostic except for those two drivers. Um, ground up development, you know, it's just got to make economic sense. So, and that's what we basically are working with our investors to do. We're trying to create safe, consistent, secure returns. And if we can do that in a way that creates the economic value um, where it's not too tight, where the deal's not too skinny, then we'll look real hard at it, you know? So like I wouldn't do ground up development of a class A multifamily building um, in the Northeast, right? Mm -hmm. And I really wouldn't do ground up development probably of a uh, multifamily unit in general because unless it's in an opportunity zone, right? Like there, there's a couple caveats, but to, to really get the basis that you're going to get on ground up development for a multifamily building, you just, you're going to pay more than replacement costs. You can't build a class C building. The, exactly. the only thing that really makes sense is to build a class A and that's not our criteria, right? We're not going to be owners of class A buildings because there's not a lot of upside. Now, maybe when we've made all of our money and we just want to sit and that's when we'll start doing some uh, class A type buildings, but no, so we're doing ground up development, but those are all storage facilities in Florida. So the metrics had to be there. The, the economic drivers had to be there to do that. Um, we own a student housing complex in Iowa. It was already cash flowing, a little bit of upside with the rent bumps, mismanaged. So that's really just a management play. Um, we have great managers that are going to go in there and clean that place up, and there's going to be upside with that. And then the next one that we're going under contract on is you know 276 units. It's a heavy lift. Right. I mean, there's a, it's a 15, $16 million deal. It's going to be about two and a half, $3 million worth of CapEx. So that's going to be a heavy lift, but ton of value added over the next two years. So yeah, we're not afraid to do necessarily anything as long as the metrics check the boxes for us in terms of, can we add enough economic value for this to be a viable five-year hold deal? 